You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV iPad app reviews. Well, a lot of you out there have to make presentations as photographers, either as teachers or you need to go and talk to clients. Well, that's where Keynote comes in. So this week we're looking at Keynote for the iPad. Keynote is an iPad application that allows you to create presentations for sharing either through your iPad or on a big screen. Now the nice thing is when you start with Keynote, you have this presentation that's built in that you can tap and it'll walk you through all of the steps that you need to know for creating great looking presentations. So I'm gonna go through and start one from scratch. But before I do, let me explain these little icons in the bottom of the screen. On the left here is the sharing icon. And the nice thing is your presentations can be shared through email or iWork. iWork.com is a place online that you can store all of your iWork documents for working on them and transferring them between your desktop and your iPad and other workers as well. You can also send things to iTunes so if you want to do some manual transfers, you can do that as well. You can use an iDisk or even WebDAV. So you have a lot of options for sharing uh, presentations. The opposite of that is this icon here, and that's for getting stuff into your iPad. And again, you can grab things from iTunes, from iDisk or WebDAV as well. Um, and then the one that we really want to work with is this one right here. This is the plus icon, and this is to create a brand new presentation. The nice thing is if you have one that you want to present, maybe uh, you need to make some changes to it for a different client, you can duplicate a presentation so you don't have to start from scratch. But we are going to start from scratch, so I'll hit new presentation. And the great thing is there are a bunch of built-in themes. So there are basic white, black gradient ones, there's portfolios, there's all kinds of different things here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick one of these at random. I'm going to click showroom, and when I pull that up, by default, I have a slide here with sort of a template that I can uh, edit. So I'm going to edit this. I'm going to hit this button right here. And what it will allow me to do is replace this motorcycle with something else. So I'm going to hit this. I'm going to put in a, a little shot of my dog Cody being funny. So I've shot that. And now here's my dog Cody getting a little nap. Now you can see that this is really cropped. So if I uh, double tap on this, I can see that I have this mask here. So I can shrink and grow my photo to stay inside this little square. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink this here so it shows the entire photo and then I'll click off of that. Now I want to change this so I'll double tap that and I'm going to say uh, the life of a dog. So of a dog. There we go. A life of a dog. And now there's my title screen. Now if I want to add a new slide, I can just hit this plus here, and then I have a bunch of templates to work from. So I'll go ahead and tap that one. Now I have my title, and I'm going to say uh, dog stuff, stuff the dogs do. So once that's done, I'll hide that. Now I can add some bullet points here, and so I'm just going to add, you know, one for that, and I'll say two for that. And obviously you can see how if this is a real presentation, you could go ahead and build all kinds of neat things. So let me go ahead and add another slide, and this is just gonna be a blank slide, and I want uh, to explain what these icons up here are all about. So the first one is the photo icon, and so I can go in here, I can put in media, I can add tables, I can add charts, and basic shapes. And so these are familiar to anyone who's ever built a presentation. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add some media. So again, I'm going to go here to my photo album. And I will take, here's a shot of me working in the studio. Uh, this is uh, me shooting up at Loft 19 with a bunch of gear. So now that I have that photo, by default, it fills the entire page. Well, I don't want it to in, uh, have the entire page. So I can drag the corner of this and I can move this around on the screen. I can even rotate this to any angle I like. So I sort of like that. So the next thing I want to do, though, is make this look a little bit better. And that's what that little eye icon is there. And so I can add a border to that. I have a bunch of options that I can go in here. I can make the uh, borders on or off. I can change the scale. I can go down here and I can say, you know, I want these little old fashioned corners on this photo. And when I'm done with that, I just tap off of it. And again, there is my photo. So I can just drag that anywhere I want, and I don't want it so big. Now the thing is, when you pinch on a photo like this, it zooms it to show you the entire screen. So if you want to change the size of a photo, you really have to uh, hit the, set, uh, the corner of the um, photo and drag that in and out like that, or drag one of these guys here. That's how you resize, not by pinching, 
but you can turn these around. Okay, now we have some of the basics. You can also add text and other things just the same way where you just tap and you can add some things. Well, what I want to do is show you some of the animation tools that are built in here. And so that's what this little icon is here. So let's say I want to go from this screen to the next and I want to add a transition. So I will click that. Then I'll, over here I want to say, I want to use the cube transition and this will give me a little preview. I can use dissolve if I want. Again, it'll give me a preview. But I sort of like that cube. Now, the other one I want to show you, and I'll say done because I like that, is I'll go down here and I'll say I want to add another transition. And the transition I want to use is called Magic Move. Now, Magic Move is really nice. It's going to ask me if I want to duplicate things. I'll say yes, and it is going to create another slide that looks just like the first slide. But watch what happens. I'll take my uh, photo here. I'm going to make it a lot larger. I'm going to rotate it just about like that. I'm going to put it up around there. There we go. Okay, now when I present this, I'll say it's done. When I present my um, presentation, I'll start at slide one. I'll hit this right there. And here is my presentation, The Life of a Dog. Now to go to the next screen, I just hit, I just tap on that. If I tap to the next one, you'll see there's my transition. Now watch what happens with Magic Move when I tap this. It goes to the next slide and that actually moves. So you can move things between slides and you can have them transition back and forth and it looks like things are animating back and forth. It's really, really a nice feature. Now the other thing you have here is this little wrench and so that's all the tools that you use to check spelling, add slide numbers, add guides so you can make sure everything lines up. It's a really, really powerful application. Now I'm going to go back here to my presentations and this is where all of my presentations are stored. And one of the nice things about Keynote is it allows you to import or copy from iTunes. And so if you have a PowerPoint presentation that you want to bring in, you can do that either by uh, uploading it to your iDisk or iTunes, and Keynote will automatically uh, import that document. So this is a uh, presentation I created in Microsoft PowerPoint, and it brought it right into Keynote. And so then I can present this. This is a presentation that I was giving in New York last week. So here's all my stuff about Matchstick. I can double tap, tap to get out of that. The nice thing is all the photos that I used in this presentation. So here's a, a shot of James Noctway that I took. So here's my, uh, my shot. It comes right in. I can go through this presentation just like I would in real life. It's very, very nice. Here's my quotes from Ansel Adams. So you can bring in presentations from PowerPoint. You can export to PowerPoint as well. And you can see here's another presentation that I had. The only thing that I found that was a, um, a negative was sometimes the photos or the uh, fonts didn't translate. And so some of the fonts weren't available on the iPad that I'd used in my PowerPoint presentation. So some fine tuning is needed. Well, as you can see, Keynote is a very powerful application for making presentations on the iPad. And with its ability to import and export files to PowerPoint, it's a phenomenal solution. Well, remember, if you have an application that you'd like me to review here on Adorama TV, please send your suggestions to me at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.